Alright, what's going on guys? This is Eric with LogicalGamer.com, also known as CryptoLocker, the owner and founder. Lately I've been messing with 5M servers and uh, getting them up and operational and adding add-on cars. That's one thing I've noticed not a lot of people have been doing, they add the replacers, which is nice and all, but the replacers aren't always the best models, quality, they don't always work, the gauges don't work, some of the items on the cars don't work, they just overall aren't as nice as the add-ons. The add-ons are actually very easy to get into the game, and I'm going to show you how to do it. So basically, go ahead and find a car that you'd like. Now keep in mind that 5M servers only allow servers to stream up to 16 megabytes per file to a client. So if a car is too high of a quality, I guess I could say, it might not work and it will cause you to crash. So try not to look for the nicest cars you can find or the newest. Uh, there is ways to fix this. You have to edit the models and textures, downsample it, and change some of the file formats. It's a little complicated. I'm not going to get into that. That's another video. You're going to have to find out how to do that on your own. This is strictly how to add add-on cars into your GTA 5M server. Very easy with my method. This is the car we're going to be adding in today. The Ferrari 599 GTO. So what you're going to want to head and obviously download it. I've already downloaded it once just to make sure. Alright, so once you've downloaded it, this is what you're going to get. You're going to get the add on, the replace. We don't want the replace. Okay. Now, copy that. Go to your GTA. Oh, sorry. I'm jumping around a little bit. I haven't made a video in a long time. Make sure you have OpenIV and 5M and a server that actually works. This isn't how to uh, set up a server, this is how to add add-on cards to an existing server. I have a dedicated server in my house, in a closet, so I have to remote into it. Through that dedicated server, I have a virtual box running my GTA servers. Okay, so here it is right here, up and running. This is my test server right here. Alright, I'm going to add this into it. So, go ahead and go to your GTA 5 directory make a new folder called server cars or something anything you want because this is how we're going to use OpenIV to extract the content we need okay I'm gonna go ahead and paste this in here so now that's in our root directory folder in another folder open OpenIV ignore my birds they're a little loud today alright there you go server cars folder there it is for our GTO. You're going to want to go to the add-on. Go to the add-on, update. Alright, wait on that for a second. I will include this in the link below, or in a link in the description. This is the template file for the streaming. Inside, all it has is a folder where you're going to put the car model and then a resource, uh, .lua. This tells the server what files to load. Okay. As you can see, most vehicles have these files. This is done. You don't have to touch this. Or you shouldn't have to touch this, I should say, which is what makes it easy. Okay? Now, go to X64, DLC Packs, DLC RPF, boom. All right, X64 again. And then you're going to want to go to vehicles.rpf. And then here it is. This is the model of the car. Okay? You're going to want to put that into the stream folder. Alright. Oops. Alright. Vehicle mods. You're going to want to put the vehicle mods in there as well. I can't guarantee these will work. Sometimes the vehicle mods are a little bit of hit and miss. I haven't had much luck with them. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. It really depends on who made the model and how they did it. But put them in there just to be safe. It doesn't hurt. Okay. Now, once that's done... What you're going to want to do is go to data and the DLC. All right, open that up and you're going to see these files here. Those are the things I was telling you about that this resource calls. So, vehicles meta, put that into the root. Handling for the car, put that into the root. Car variations and car calls. Oh, come on, 5M, what are you? Uh, open IVs, give me a hard time here. Alright, done. This car is finished. Okay, 
Now, to make it easier on yourself, go ahead and rename this 599XX. Keep it lowercase, you don't have to, but keep it lowercase, keep things simple, uh, easy to find. Alright, done. Close out of OpenIV. Now what you're going to want to do is go to your server. Mine happens to be on a virtual box, so I'm remoting into it now. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and upload this into the box so we can access it. There it is. I'm going to put it on my desktop. Where am I going? There we go. All right, let's go ahead and transfer this over. All right, done. So here we go. Now we have the finished car add-on. All right, so what you're going to want to do is go ahead and cut this. Go to your GTA server. Go to your resources. And then you can put it anywhere you like. So I have a single cars folder that I put all of my cars in when I'm testing them. Once they're finished and confirmed working, I combine them all into one resource, which is also another video I'll make, but right now we're just doing one at a time. Uh, you can make all of these because the GTA 5M servers only allow up to, I think, 51 resources at a time, which sounds like a lot, but it's not. It fills up really fast with server scripts, uh, game modes, and cars. So, as you can see, this right here is 13 resources by themselves. You can turn these all into one. But like I said, that's another video. Alright, so once that's in here, go ahead and copy the folder name. You can write it out again if you want, but I prefer to copy it because then there's absolutely no way you can mess it up if you copy it. It's exactly what it says. Alright, go into your uh, sitmap server YML, go to auto start resources, and add it as a new resource. 599XX. Save it. Alright, now that that's done, go ahead and clear your cache and run your server. Alright, oh, uh, yep. <laughs> I forgot to close it. Nobody's in there. It's the beta server, so let's close that. Alright, let's run this again. Sorry about that. But if that's the case, actually, we're going to need to delete the cache again. Alright. All right, now that's going to generate the new resource streams and all of that and start. So let's go ahead and go back here and launch 5M. Sorry if the video is a little back and forth, guys. I haven't made a video in a very long time. Uh, but don't worry, there's going to be more coming. Uh, you know, LogicalGamer.com, I host a variety of servers. So you can expect a lot of videos for different mods, different server types, different things like that. Alright, there it is. It's already open. This is my test server. Alright, let's go ahead and load in to the server. I'm really hoping this isn't one of those very high quality textures cars. And I'm hoping it works because it's going to make the whole video have to do it again. Not like it's that difficult, but... Alright, so we're loaded in. Let's get up to a better spot. Alright, so now what we're gonna do is get the um, spawn name. So, server cars Oh shit. Single cars. And then we just added the 599. Okay, the handling file is where you're going to find it for sure. So GTOXX is the spawn name. Okay. Did I type that incorrectly? GTOXX. And there it is. So, that's it. Start to finish adding a new resource of a modded add-on car into 5M. Like I said, this is not a replacer. This is a full add-on car. 
As you can see, the gauges are working. They don't look that good, but the gauges are working. But that's it, guys. If you have any questions, uh, go ahead and send me a message. Sorry if I don't respond immediately. I'm fairly busy. Got a lot going on. Uh, but that's it. Add on car. Good to go.